Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for this weekend, I'm excited to start on some spring color ideas. But before I proceed, if you haven't yet, I hope that you consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio for your weekend dose of crafts. If any of you have seen my color recipes, you will notice that I love making pastel colors. Today is no different. Let's make tea green, gossamer pink, golden yellow, and marigold. As per usual, let's clean our work area first. I spray my glass mat with some alcohol and wipe it down carefully. Next, I'm laying down my sample colors to be my guide in recreating. Before I even film, I actually practice making my colors first. So whatever you see on cam is my second or sometimes even third time to recreate the colors. For tea green, let's start with some Fimo Windsor Blue and some Sculpey Primo White. In making pastels, you could keep on adding white to your base color. Or in this case, I started with one part white and just a sliver of Windsor Blue. For pastels, you really just want to add color sparingly because a little goes a long way. Condition this until the colors fully incorporate. By the way, I'm not shy about mixing brands. I always try my best to use what is available to me. If you don't have the same colors, just switch it to the nearest color of your band of choice. Next, add a sliver of Fimo Leaf Green. Then, this gets conditioned again. As my target colors are very light, I really add my bolder colors very slowly. Once fully incorporated, I compare the color with my sample. Then I added a little bit more leaf green until I got closer to the sample color. For the succeeding colors, because they are related with each other, we will be using the following. Sculpey Primo White, Fimo Flesh, Fimo Sunflower Yellow, Sculpey Primo Orange, and Sculpey Primo in Blush Pink. Let's first make Golden Yellow. Let's get one part white and a sliver of Sunflower Yellow. As you can tell, most of my Fimo clay is already hard and crumbly. But don't worry because my white clay is pretty soft and when mixed together, the clay still works. This is the resulting color. And it's still too light. So next, let's add a sliver of Sculpey Primo in orange. Combine these colors until it matches the sample. Now that we have this golden yellow color, let's create Marigold. Add another sliver of Primo Orange. Then combine these colors. Next, add a sliver of Sculpey Primo Blush Pink. Again, condition this until all the colors have incorporated. I understand that this is a slow process, but as we are doing a color match, we don't want to be heavy on adding colors. Finally, I added another sliver of Primo Orange. Now, we have arrived at Marigold. And for the final color, let's make Gossamer Pink. Let's start with one part white and a sliver of flesh. This flesh color of Fimo, I suspect, has some element of translucent clay, which helps give my pink clay that gossamer feel to the color. Again, this is very hard and crumbly, so to be honest, it does take a while to condition. But I also don't mind because it gives my clay a little bit of firmness, which makes it easier to work with when I'm doing slabs.
Now we have this barely pink color. I add a sliver of the golden yellow clay. This gets combined again. Then I come in with a sliver of blush pink. I compare the sample and the color that I'm making and it's still a little bit lighter than the sample. So I go ahead and add another sliver of blush pink. And for what I thought was the last time, I added a sliver of marigold. We're so close but we're still not quite there, so I added one more sliver of blush pink. And there we have it. We've finally matched all the colors of our samples. And this is what I did when I cut up my slab. I'm happy because both silver and gold findings work well with this slab. I hope that you enjoyed this short color mixing video and if you want to see more videos like this or if you would want to request a color, let me know on the comments below. Thanks for watching! Have a crafty weekend! Bye!